Hello, my friends. What happened when the werewolf swallowed a clock? He got ticks. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. He stands in front of me and looks at me with the hunger that I have known for a way too long. The thirst that doesn't ever seem to be quenched even after long nights of hunting. He is newly changed and doesn't realize that this life is now mine. He just wants to feed. Let me introduce myself, I am Kylan. I was human once, many years ago. Now I am what your world might call a werewolf. Although, there really is no such thing. Not in the sense that you may have read about or what your older siblings tried to scare you with when the moon was full. I don't have to wait for a full moon to change. I can change at will. This has allowed me to survive for so many long lonely years. You must be thinking how can I be lonely, but unfortunately, the hunger causes a lot of my kind to be imprisoned or murdered way before their years. I found that some just cannot control the thirst. Another fallacy of the legend of the werewolf is the silver bullet. It will kill us, but so would a regular one. It seems that the change that we go through is more of an infection than anything else. I do appear as a human most of the time, but I am also a beast that feeds on flesh, flesh and blood. Yes blood. I can go without meat for weeks, as long as I have fresh blood. See vampires are another legend that my kind may have brought about. I do not have to become the beast to drink blood. I have learned how to control the thirst, control the desire, it is mainly through necessity or for survival, but my kind can maintain on human blood and not transform for weeks if the need arises. Thus, seeing something that looks like a man, drain another man of blood. You can see how it would be considered a vampire. Back to this newly turned subject of mine. He is eager to eat, to feed, to consume and I shall allow him his pleasures, for I will then enjoy. See it is an addiction, this desire to feed, and it is almost impossible to control when you first become infected, it never subsides always burns. But again, my desire for survival is stronger than my desire to feed, for now. Let me describe to you the feelings of the feeding it is like sexual bliss combined with a high that doesn't immediately crash lots pure intoxication, not chemical, so it is nothing like a drug high. It is pure and erotic. I become so aroused when I feed that I usually pleasure myself with whomever I am with at the time, man or woman, it no longer matters. It's about satisfying the hunger, that is all that is important when you get to that point. Sexual preference goes out the window. With each experience, I gain knowledge of the person I feed on. Maybe not knowledge, but memories and experiences. I drain the life force with the blood. I'll take all I can get from my victims, so as not to waste a life. If I'll decide to leave them alive, as my kind, then I can feel their strengths, their weakness, their fears and that are how I control them in the beginning, to become my subjects. I enjoy sex when I am not feeding but it's not as intense. It's just normal. Once you fuck while in your frenzy of feeding, nothing compares. That is the hard part of the control. L can control my thirst but when I combined it with the lust for flesh, well I am just about powerless to it. Actually went to a meeting for addicts to try and learn to control the hunger, but that didn't last long because they say control is not what they are looking for and control is the only thing that has kept me alive. For the 500 something years L am walking on earth I have been able to see a lot and experience a lot. I fell in love once but during sex, I took it too far and infected her. And when she became depressed and listless over the years L had to end her life because she was no longer who I fell in love with. I was in love with her life force, her essence, and when she lost that, I saw that I wasn't looking for a companion I was looking for an equal. And to find someone equal to me is going to be a difficult task. I am not full of myself or conceited. I am just a strong-willed, 
strong-minded individual. I live my life float and keep a job that allows me the freedom to move about and money to live on. You may be asking yourself how do I live amongst people without raising suspicion because one of the legends of vampires, werewolves, is the fact that we don't age. That is true. When infected, whatever age we are infected at is the age we remain looking anyway. Let me get back to my new subject. He is a young man, about 25 when I infected him. He is strong and weak minded so control over him will be easy. I will be able to use him to do my hunting without fear of being found out. I will use him until he either is no longer controllable or until I find another that I enjoy controlling more so. I understand if that angers you. I am trying to explain myself to humans, and most humans have compassion and empathy towards other humans. I did have those emotions once. They even stuck around after I was infected but for my survival, they couldn't stay around. I had to lose them and lose them fast. I mean, think about it if I cared about who I was eating, would I eat? I cannot be vegan and survive. I never did understand the whole vegan thing anyway. Besides my species, humans are at the top of the food chain, why stop eating meat? I do understand when animals are abused, that's not cool. I digress. No, my new subject is not being abused. He will be well fed, sexually pleased in so many ways and when I grow bored of him I will be humane and I won't waste a single bite. I am telling you all of this because I am lonely, and I am seeking a prodigy. Someone to challenge me and share my crazy life. I guess someone to keep me on my toes and maybe fall in love with or just rule the nights with. I want you to know that we will hunt together but we will also have subjects of our own to share or to keep for ourselves to hunt for us or to just use as we see fit. Another falsehood. I can be out in the daytime. It is when I live my normal life, make my money, I do transform into a beast, whenever I want. I don't have to change except whenever I need to consume human flesh. It is easy to eat human flesh as a beast than as a man, just saying. But when I drink blood which I do more often, I do not have to totally transform. Just my teeth need to change so that I may make a bite to get to the bloodstream. If I give my blood back to you, then you will be infected with the virus I carry. I was changed when I was 33, back in 1518 in Scotland. I was a part of the House of Stuarts. My family worked for them for many years. I was sent out one night and I meet my fate that night and disappeared never to be heard from again. I then traveled through Scotland, England, and France with my master for a few hundred years, being his slave and his wife's lover until I was to be put down, as my master called it. But his wife had fallen in love with me and she set me free will a few gold pieces and a ticket upon a ship to the new world of America and I have been here since the beginning of her independence. So I will be looking for someone to make my partner. Someone to keep me company, and not just be my subject. I am once again tired of being alone and just having to hunger the sexual desire. I can have that with any subject I choose. I want an equal, someone to hunt with me. So if you feel like you're being watched, and something is stalking you, it may just be me and be happy, that means I think you are worthy enough to be my equal.